everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Tech. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect a controller to your Windows 11 computer so you can use it in Steam. And this is really easy to do. First thing I wanna do is go on down to the Windows Start button, then go to Settings right here, then go on over to Bluetooth and Devices, and then you wanna to go to Add Device, but make sure Bluetooth right here is turned on. So let's go to Add Device, and then go to Bluetooth, Audio Devices, Mice, Keyboard, Phones, Pens, Controllers, etc. Now you have to go to your controller and you have to put it into the Bluetooth parent mode. So on the PlayStation 5 controller, I just have to press the PlayStation button and the sharing button at the same time. And this will put it into the Bluetooth syncing mode. And it should display under here. And all I have to do is select it then once it pops up. And I believe this controller won't connect because I already have it connected. So for me to get this connected now, all I have to do is press the PlayStation button and it should be turning on and connected to my computer. So you just have to select it under this list once it pops open, and then it will be connected to your computer. So if I close this now, you can see DualSense Wireless Controller is connected, and I think by default, if you press just the Xbox or PlayStation button, Steam is gonna open up if you have it on your computer. And then is it double press if you have um, your controller connected? And it'll open up big picture mode, Something like that. So here's big picture mode, and I just open that up by pressing this multiple times, and I think that's the same for your Xbox controller. And then uh, to move the cursor, if you hold down the Xbox or PlayStation button, and then the uh, movement button, the thumbstick, you can move the cursor around. But don't hold down the button too long. If you hold it down more than like three or four seconds, the controller will shut off. So you only have like three or four seconds to move the cursor. But once you get to big picture mode, uh, you're good. You just have to move around with the thumbstick or the uh, D-pad. Then you can go to options and you can edit everything under here. So if you press the PlayStation button, you can go down to settings and look at the settings. And then you can go on over to controller under here. And you can change the uh, controller name or the layout for the device. So here's the input, begins the test there. So you might want to switch over to use the PlayStation input if you can find that option here, here's Xbox's Senate feature support drivers. You can install that there. Here's PlayStation controller support, enable games without support. All right, so just look at the controller options in here, but everything seems to be working for me. But hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel down below for more tech up videos coming up next on your six tech.